Hey, how's it going? Bible Digger here, and uh, this is my new channel, Digger of the Word, at uh, Digger of the Word Ministry. And this is a ministry of Jesus Christ, teaching the doctrine of Jesus Christ. And also, I'm not an expert yet, uh, and I'm not a, like a expert master teacher or preacher, but I could preach about what I've learned that I know is the truth of God. Uh, mainly, there's going to be a lot of evangelism work on here, so, and Bible reviews. But anything that I've learned that I can preach, I'll do that too. All right. So with that being said, here's an update on the uh, Cranberry Church Bible Publishers Turquoise Reference Bible in large print, and uh, this is just an awesome Bible. I've had this for three months now. As you can see, it's breaking in nicely. It's just breaking in very nicely. As you can see, all kinds of grain in that. Hope that's in focus for you. That is just beautiful, isn't it? And uh, this is, I don't know if I already said it, this is the Cranberry. And um, authorized King James, CBP. Raised hubs on this are very pronounced, pro probably even more pronounced than the uh, iron calfskin. Because that iron calfskin is hard to get a good stamp on it. Now with the Platinum Edition, you get an inch longer ribbons. Mine are all different lengths. Um, and of course you get that nice gold gilding with CBP red and yellow uh, headbands and tailbands now when we open this up you're gonna see first of all let's just look at that other grain on this side here because it's worth looking at without even opening it you can see some deep grain patterns in mine I got a low battery so I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible how awesome is that huh And when you open this up, you're going to get this beautiful, distressed, genuine leather liner. And if you want to look at the, uh, the seam here, that's a um, flush seam from there to there. It's totally flush. When you run your finger, there's no gap. There's no bump in the road or anything they nailed it look at that distressed genuine leather liner it feels amazing in the hand you got edge lined here where that book blocks attached to the liner and um, you can just see all kinds of nice grain coming off the the edge there when you open this thing up you see an 11 point font and uh, my black letter was done really good but in this one the red letter was a little light I got this Bible two times the first one was damaged so I got another one you can't really tell in the video but that red letter is a lot lighter than the first one I got but that's okay it doesn't look that bad on camera but it uh, looks really good on camera actually but in person you can tell that it's a bit lighter I have no idea if y'all can tell or not but if you can there it is 
still all in all pretty good but just the red letter is not as dark so I'm using this one to read the Old Testament because the black letter actually came out really dark in this one again on camera that red letter looks awesome but looking at it in person it's a little lighter but again like you could tell see that black letter there it was just done really good so I'm using this uh, to read the Old Testament I just finished the New Testament so I'm now in Genesis on chapter 30 I'm on 36 I thought I was on 37, but maybe I, in the other Bible I'm on 37, but 36, 37. And uh, this has just been an update of the CBP Cranberry uh, Platinum Water Buffalo. How awesome is this? Just look at the green. It feels really soft in the hand. It's a thick piece of leather. Probably about the same thickness as like their top grain cowhide. Uh, three eighth inch ribbon they are an inch longer than their standard sizes beautiful ribbons they're very flexible and they just move every which way and uh, yeah that's about it for this the black letter in this one's really dark so this is my Old Testament Bible amen so uh yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I went over everything in this for you. And here you have the, uh, this is done by Double A Leather. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm really enjoying this this uh, Bible. You got a little bit of the gold gilding coming off, but as you can see, how this Bible is creasing, you kind of expect that right there. Pretty awesome so far. I was noticing right here on the edge where this meets that the lip itself. There's nothing wrong with it, but where the hide goes over that red part, it was kind of peeling back. But I stamped it down on my finger and I haven't had another problem with it so all right this is an awesome Bible look at that I can't wait to just I'm not a church go in person because I believe the body is the temple and uh, I believe that most denominations have this thing wrong have the doctrine of Christ totally wrong and backwards but I am seeking the Holy Ghost and uh, fellowship with people that have it so Although I think Christ is telling me just to go ahead and do my own thing because I don't know, we'll see. I was thinking about fellowship at a Pentecostal church, but you know, it's hard to find fellowship as a Christian. I haven't really hung out with anybody since I've become a Christian, so anyway. And uh, I'm going to leave all the information to this ministry in the link. And hopefully I'll get some evangelism uh, videos up soon. Just passing out tracks and talking to people. If I can talk to people, and I've only been reading the Bible for six months, and I've only had this one three months, and I just finished the New Testament, if I could do it, anybody can. That's pretty much, I want to give people encouragement to do that through what I'm doing. So you don't need to know every inch of the Bible. You just need a new know a few uh, key things you need to know how to tell them to get saved and you need to know who the son of God is and you need to know that the son of God is the son of God the only begotten son of God right Adam was the son of God too but he was not begotten 
All right. I mean, am I speaking the truth or not? You know, God did not die on the cross, did he? No, the Son of God died on the cross. A human being died on the cross. Am I right? If I'm not right, correct me. I mean, <laughs> all right. So, thanks for watching. This is Bible Digger on the new minister uh, on the new ministry channel, Digger of the Word Ministry. And uh, most likely the next video, or maybe even the next one after that, is going to be a giveaway video. I've got a few things I'm going to give away. And I don't know, it might be a blessing to somebody. So, I went to the Christian bookstore and I picked up a, a couple of books. And I've got some other goodies um, to throw in there as well. I'm not going to give it away, uh, give away the, the surprise, but... It's not nothing, nothing super expensive or anything because I'm not a wealthy person, but <laughs> I, I'm going to give what I can, all right? And again, I'll put the information to this ministry in the description. If anyone wants to donate to this ministry and help buy Bible tracts, uh, because gospel tracts, because that stuff is getting pretty expensive for me. When I struggle to put groceries on the table, amen. I'm not begging for money, but if there is somebody out there that the Lord has blessed to have a little bit more, again, I'm going to leave the information in the, in the description as always. And uh, what I would be buying with any funds would be Bible stamps, stickers, gospel tracts, um, Bibles. There's all kinds of stuff that I buy and put together. And I'll do a video on some of the stuff that I do give out. Thanks for watching. This is Bible Digger signing out.